hello you guys welcome and welcome back my name is Jay and today we're gonna get the bare minimum amount of chores done on a Sunday in order to reset for the rest of the week so if you're ready to get some cleaning and some conversation in let's get started <music> This is the normal state of my home. It's not too crazy dirty or too messy. Just a lot of things that need to be picked up. In a perfect world, this would this is how my house would always look, but if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I am far from perfect. And the only things missing in this video is the kitchen, which I cleaned late after dinner, and the laundry. I didn't want this video to be too long or too overwhelming or to just make it seem like I get all this stuff done, although I did, but I did the laundry later at night into the evening, and I actually didn't finish until right before bed. I intended to post this video on the Monday after Easter, but I was having some computer problems, totally my fault, uh, so I'm sorry about that. And this doesn't just have to be a Sunday reset. So in my previous job, I worked very long hours and I worked most weekends and holidays. So I was resetting my house, you know, on Thursday or Wednesday, which were my days off. So if you used to work like I used to work, you can get fresh start in your house and just make it look all neat and pristine and ready to start another week on any day. want to thank all you for being here with me and if you've come back I really 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 appreciate it if you're enjoying my content I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button below I know everybody says it that does YouTube videos <laughs> but um it really does just help us out and it's free so only if you feel comfortable doing so but I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and I have some previous videos of me cleaning different things and different levels of mess that I think you'd really enjoy so in the living room, it's been getting nice outside and I wanted to clean off these doors because I never do. Never, never, never. So they looked really bad and I didn't realize how dirty the windows in the house were until we got super sunny and warm days and I opened up the blinds and I was like, wow, that looks terrible. <laughs> so I just went ahead and cleaned off the sliding glass doors. In addition to cleaning off these doors, I took my Dyson, I took the long handle off, and I just put on the shorter attachment and I'm gonna vacuum the area, the slider on the floor between the carpeted inside and the, de the deck outside because there's always leaves and grass and dead spiders in there. And I'm glad they're dead, but I would like to not track them back in. <laughs> so I took care of that as well here. And then I just wanted to talk a little bit about kind of why I started my YouTube channel. Don't worry, this is not gonna be like some deep video or anything, just maybe to get to know me a little bit more. So my name is Jay, like I've already said. I live in Maryland, I do own this home. I'm in my early 30s and I live in the DMV. So DC, Maryland, Virginia. And it's what we call like Northern Virginia and Maryland and DC where they all kind of meet in the middle. I've lived in Virginia and I work in Washington, DC, but right now I live in Maryland. 
And so I started watching YouTube, watching makeup videos. I absolutely love makeup. I love all things beauty, except hair. You guys know I just don't like doing hair or any of that, but I love, love, love makeup. I kind of inherited it from my mom. She was the same way since she was younger. And there are pictures of me when I was four at a birthday party wearing lipstick. And on picture day, my mom would let me wear her jewelry and things like that. So that's how I started watching YouTube. But I kind of, I accumulated way too much makeup. And then I started in a career where I just couldn't wear it all the time. And I'll talk a little bit about kind of work and how that impacted my watching habits. Not specifically, you know, where I've worked, um, just for privacy and that's not really important. But as I got away from the makeup content, I started watching the home stuff, you know, what were people buying for their homes? How were they decorating? Where were they living? What could somebody my age range kind of afford? How were they decorating? Where were they getting their home decor stuff? And then as I got closer to buying my, my first home a few years ago, I started watching more home videos and that led to cleaning videos when I purchased my house because I just had a really hard time keeping up. And I'm not a dirty person, but I'm not tidy at all. I really have to put forth effort, even with little things like when you come home, take your shoes off, put them in the shoe cabinet or on the shoe rack. I just don't do that. I take them off when in whichever room I stop in. And then, you know, a few times a week, I'll gather up all the shoes and put them away, but I'm working on it. So that's kind of how I started watching the YouTube videos in this community. And I just noticed that a lot of the people making these videos were moms. They were stay-at-home moms. And I understand why, right? They're filming and talking about things they already do on a daily basis and they are home more and have more time. That's not to say that I'm thinking stay-at-home moms are not busy. Rest assured, I <laughs> do not think that stay-at-home mom is not a job. Do not even ever think that of me. That's not what I'm trying to say. It was just a lot of conversation revolving around the kids and the husband. And I was like, well, you know, I, I have a different lifestyle just being a single young ish now woman just really trying to keep a home for myself. And I just thought I could add a different voice to the conversation and to the videos that we all see. And I do still watch a lot of those like mommy channels, more cleaning as opposed to the family stuff. But I just wanted to add maybe like a different voice and a different type of content. The vacuum I'm using my Bissell Clean View or Clear View Pet Pro vacuum. It was pretty inexpensive if you just look up vacuum Clear View Pet Pro. It was around 100 bucks and it gets the job done. It's pretty good. And then to clean the surfaces, I was using my spray away glass cleaner on the glass table and then the Caldrea multi purpose spray in the Tangelo Palm From scent. <laughs> Now we're in my bathroom, the downstairs bathroom, which is the bigger of the two. As you can see, it's still not that big, but this bathroom, this is the one that I use um, primarily. I only shower down here and I do most of my, my business down here. So it just is always looking crazy. I don't, I don't know. It just, it really, 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 really needed to be cleaned. And the video does go blurry for a few seconds a little bit later, and I'm just wiping down the walls. You'll see what I'm talking about. I, clip, I kept the clips short, but I wanted to show you that I do wipe down the walls in the bathroom, and I'm gonna use the Lysol spray with hydrogen peroxide. It smells terrible, but it's better than using a bleach spray in an enclosed bathroom. 
and I use that to clean off this the countertops and the walls and then to scrub out my tub I'm using the Dawn um, the Dawn spray the Dawn power wash what I was discussing uh, a few minutes ago so I don't have any kids or a husband yet by choice um, I'm not saying it's not in the cards for me because I grew up thinking it would be but just based on the way that my life has gone so far it hasn't happened yet but again that's not to say it never will just not right now I'm really enjoying where my life is and the things that I'm getting to do and experience and I have other goals that I want to reach first I know I'm not getting any younger. My doctor has uh, made that clear. So <laughs> as a woman, you know, the things we have to deal with. And I'm glad that he's honest with me. I'm not knocking him. Um, but it is something that I do think about from time to time. But right now I'm pretty happy where I'm at. And so I grew up with my mom, a single working mom, you know, busy, stressed as hell. And I just... I don't want to be stressed, you know, and I have enough stress right now with no kids. So with children, and I know that they bring so much joy, so, so much joy, just an experience that nothing else can be the equivalent to. But right now I'm pretty happy where I'm at. So speaking a little bit about my job and kind of how that encouraged me to want to start my own channel. So traditionally I've worked in male dominated fields and in those fields, it was very normal to see women my age that are not married with no kids, like early thirties, all the way up to like early to mid forties. It just hadn't happened yet. You know, we we're working a lot, trying to make good money, buying the things that we want and just trying to buy a house and do all these other things, meet all these other goals. Oh, here's where I'm going to wipe the walls down. But we're trying to meet all these other goals. So it was so normal. But now that I've moved back into a more traditional job where I have like banker's hours, like, you know, I get up at six. I'm usually home around four. Uh, it's not like that anymore socially. All of the men have husbands. <laughs> Uh, the women are seriously dating or they're engaged or they're married. So now I'm kind of the odd man out again and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't get pressured ever, ever from my family or even my friends. My friends with kids, surprisingly, are the ones who are like, you don't do it yet. If you're not sure, don't do it. You have so much time. And I'm like, girl, you got married and you were 28. And my friends are like, don't, don't compare yourself. Don't worry. <laughs> you know. But um, it's just strange being back in the like, quote unquote, normal world where women are already married and child planning and family planning and doing all that. And I'm just not there yet, but we'll see. We will see. I do think about it. I don't really need, um, to hear any opinions about it I'm just kind of sharing what's going on so if you're going through a similar thing um if you're my age and you are not married girl you are not alone guy you are not alone and um it's hard out here pickings are slim that's why I'm always impressed when on YouTube I'll see it and I don't know what it is but I'll see it a lot people will they'll be married for 10 years they'll get divorced and then They'll be engaged a year and a half later. I'm like, damn, how'd you find another man? You found two men to commit? My God, like they, those women got the juice, you know, like they got it. <laughs> so I'm always like very, very impressed by that. But I'm sure my time will come. What is meant to be will be as they say. Here I wanted to show you guys the shape of that toilet bowl cleaner wand. Because it has that rectangular shape, it gets under the bowl really, really good. 
It's the Scrubbing Bubbles Heavy Duty Toilet Bowl Cleaner Wands. I've talked about the Scrubbing Bubbles ones before. I really like the regular wands because they're paper and they dissolve when you leave them in water. So after you're done cleaning the toilet, you just drop them in the bowl and then I wait a few minutes and then I flush it. But those heavy duty ones are really, really good for getting up under that rim. It reminds me of a Brillo pad, but without like it's not steel wool so it's not gonna scratch the bowl but I really really like that heavy-duty version to clean the floor in here I'm just gonna give it a good vacuum and then I'm using my black and Decker steam mop I really love this mop I purchased mine on Amazon and you don't need any any chemicals it just uses hot water and a microfiber cleaning cloth and you can rewash the pads. I wash them on a sanitized cycle with the rest of like the microfiber cloths I use to clean other places in my home, but I love a steam mopped bathroom floor. You just can't beat it. We are all done in the bathroom finally i'm just going to move into the living room and give the windows a good clean before i open them up and let the light in and do a super speed version of cleaning off the table and the floors the focus of this sunday was the floors because i don't mop as often as i should so i really wanted to make sure to mop those main areas To vacuum, I'm gonna use my Dyson, and then to mop the floors, I'm gonna use my O-Cedar microfiber mop, and it has a reversible head, so I'm gonna use one side down here, and then the other side that's usually used for dusting, I'm gonna use that to mop my bedroom. And the mopping solution I'm using is the Method Squirt Mop in the Spearmint scent. So I forgot how strongly the Spearmint mopping solution is and it lingers for a while and I was this was Easter Sunday so I was like well let me burn my Easter candle so I lit this Bath and Body Works candle that's on the table behind me it's in carrot cake so after I finished mopping it smelled kind of weird in here it wasn't necessarily unpleasant it was like a minty cinnamony cake scent so not bad, but strange, definitely strange. And if you have a vinyl flooring, I'd highly recommend grabbing one of these mops or any microfiber mop. I just think it does a really, really good job on these types of floors. And I know they're very trendy right now. Coming upstairs in the bedroom, all I had to do was do a little bit of tidying, like moving my bathrobe and getting that in the hamper and getting the dirty clothes out of here and then stripping the bed of the dirty sheets. And like I mentioned way earlier in the video, I did do laundry. I had not as much laundry this day as I usually do because I tend to do all my laundry on Sundays, which 
maybe isn't necessarily the best system, but it works for me. And I only had three loads to wash and then a load in the dryer. So four loads total, not a big deal, but I just wanted to strip the bed and get up under the nightstand where I, I don't always move it. And I just noticed some crumbs that hadn't made their way into the trash can like I intended. So I just wanted to once again, get the floors mopped in here and get all of that dirty laundry out of here. And I am planning to do like a makeover of my bedroom. I picked the paint samples in last week's video and I found nightstands. I found the perfect nightstands. I think they'll be perfect. I hope they'll be perfect. And they were pretty affordable. They're really heavy wood, or I'm sure it's a combination of wood and like a pressed wood, um, I'm sure, because they were under $200 each. And I purchased them from HomeSense, which is like a local home store here. It's like Home Goods. I think HomeSense is more popular overseas. And then here you can see me just switching that mop head over to the other side so I could do a dust slash mop here. But I bought the nightstands and they are so heavy, you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna get them upstairs. I that's the one thing about single girl living is like moving furniture is such a pain in the A-double snakes, let me tell you. So I'll have to do it, but they're wood tones. So, and I looked at the back of the furniture and they have the same item number, but they have different lot numbers. So they were shipped at a different time. So the coloring on them is slightly different. So I'm hoping when I put them next to the bed, they are similar enough to not like look strange. Otherwise, I may keep them, I may exchange them, but I really like the design of them. So this weekend coming up, I want to paint and do some touch-ups in my closet. The previous owner had a cat's, which they made some scratches that need to be, the wood needs to be filled. So anyway, short story long, this weekend I'm hoping to do a little bit of a bedroom makeover and then show you guys that. sure to wear my mop shoes this time and the mop shoes they're just microfiber shoes the texture is almost like the mop that I'm mopping with the blue side so they're just like fuzzy microfiber that you put over your socks and it just helps kind of dry the floor and it dusts it while you're walking so if you want to feel like you're cleaning while you're just walking around get you some mop shoes and they're very affordable on Amazon and here we are, the finished bedroom. I love the afters, and I'll show you my living room too, where I spent the rest of the day doing absolutely nothing, my favorite pastime. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.